पीपल से हेल्दी बट हेल्दी क्या है हेल्दी इज नॉट थिन होना या हेल्दी इज नॉट की प्रोटीन खाना की हेल्दी वन एवर आई फील लाइक मेंटली अनवेल और वन आई फील लाइक आई वन आर जूबिनेट I just take my diary and I write poetry about something or an experience. There is nothing wrong with being greedy for what you want. Yeah. I am not happy where I am. I want to uh, uh, achieve more. Yeah. But I am very grateful for where I am. Yeah. My heart is full of gratitude for every single thing I have. But yeah. that doesn't stop me from being greedy ever. Thirty-three percent is like she said, exercise. Thirty-three percent is your diet, and thirty-three percent is your rest. Yeah, see. Welcome back to yet another episode of Unstoppable powered by Right Bite Max Protein with me Rohit Roy. As you all know this is the podcast to go for for health, fitness, nutrition and everything else to do with wellness. You know aaj ka show bahut hi bahut hi khaas hai kyunki hamare sath do bahut hi khaas guests hain from extremely diverse fitness backgrounds. Our first guest is a multi talented individual she's a model she's an actor she's a traveler she is an mba in finance and of course a fitness enthusiast our second guest is someone who fuels all of this she's a nutritionist ready to share her expert opinion on the importance of protein and general nutrition while debunking common myths in the nutritional world Please welcome Soldus Mufakir and Kajal Bajena. Welcome to the show. I'm so Thank happy you. to have both of you. Thank you. Because you both have a very personal connection. Soldus, you don't know Kajal. You haven't met her. She's a nutritionist, but she's also my nutritionist. Oh, nice. She's been uh, giving us advice and tips uh, not only to me but to the entire family. Nice. And Kajal, whether you know or know, me and Soldus were together on that very <laughs> reality show which tore my hamstring. Yeah. खतरों के खिलाड़ी लेट स्टार्ट विथ यू टेलिंग आर ऑडियंसेज अ लिटल बिट अबाउट योर सेल्फ एंड योर जर्नी आई मीन ऑल द वे फ्रॉम फ्रांस टू मुंबई फ्रॉम एम बी ए टू अ रियालिटी शो कंटेस्टेंट मॉडल डांसर एज यू मैं गोइंग फ्रॉम मोरको टू फ्रांस एंड टू इंडिया इन माई हेड इज लाइक लॉर ऑफ कल्चर लॉर ऑफ लैंग्वेजेज एंड एम लाइक आई डिट एक्चुअली गेट टाइम टू सीट एंड बी लाइक ओ आई वेंट थ्रू दैट मच चेंज I'm just, you know, closing my eyes and just going going again, with the flow. yeah, going with the flow and just enjoying the journey. And uh, I know one thing about you, इनकी जो हिंदी है वो कवार है। इनकी हिंदी इतनी प्यारी है कि मुझे खतरों के खिलाड़ी में याद है कि हम लोग stunt देखते थे, डर जाते थे, और फिर ये पीछे से हिंदी में कुछ बोलती थी और सबकी हंसी छूट जाती थी। If you were hosting this show. And I'm your guest. Hindi में मेरा welcome कर. आपका स्वागत है हमारे दोस्त हमारे 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 दोस्त मेरा लिंग ही change कर दिया. हमारे दोस्त आपके स्वागत. बहुत कुछ जानना है इनके बारे में इनके fitness trends के बारे में इनकी हिंदी के बारे में Arabic के बारे में. Kajal, over to you. Tell us. I want to know. How did this whole nutrition thing come into being? How did you think of becoming a nutritionist and you know? So basically, I think love for food, you know, from a typical uh, Gujarati background, oh, you know, yeah. and for love for food. And my dad is a doctor, you so he used to always say, you know, healthy cow, healthy cow. Mm-hmm. And then I realized, you know, that only food, food is magic. But I have to put science to it, you know, to understand what exactly healthy is. And that's how nutrition happened. And I'm. What did you study? Nutrition. I- I enrolled for bachelor's in home science and dietetics, and then I did my post graduation in sports science and nutrition, and then I did my post graduation in counselling. Or a bapre. So yeah, that's uh, what I did, and I'm working since 17 years, last 17 years. So the inspiration was what? Because you love food, you became a nutritionist. Food is the inspiration, and I think more because you know personally, you know when. you know when you are growing up as a teenager and you realize that most of the women in india are anemic and you know you realize what kind of food to do what not to do you know and that is a time when you are constantly figuring out and i think way then we didn't have this you know instant yeah. where you can read or you know uh, dabble on an internet so much of access was in there access was not around you see so I, that's how and then i joined uh, that an interest to do nutrition in my college and Initially, I was wanting to do counselling, but I think my HODs thought I would be better in nutrition, so they cancelled. You know, you've got to hold that thought because there's a lots of things that I want to talk to you because you said information. There's also a lot of garbage information we'll talk about yes. that later. Yes. So this. Thanks. आपने ये इतनी लंबी जर्नी तय की है इतने बालिक उम्र में बालिक उम्र means at such a young age. Yeah. Uh, 
और आप मोरक्न है फ्रेंच हैं फ्रेंच मोरक्न है पढ़ाई आपने वहाँ की फिर आके आया है कहाँ पे गाजियाबाद में आपने अपना एम बी ए कम्प्लीट किया यू पिक्ड अ रियलिटी शो टू कम इन टू इंडिया यूजली क्या होता है जो बाहर के फॉरन नेशनल है लड़कियाँ खास करके वो यहाँ पे आके या तो एक्टर बनना चाहती हैं या डांसर बनना चाहती हैं या मॉडल बनना चाहती हैं यू पिक्ट रियलिटी शो वॉज दैट समथिंग दैट यू Thought of or it just happened to you? So actually क्योंकि मैं मोरकन हूँ मोरको में हमारे इंडस्ट्री इतना बड़ा नहीं है तो हम सिर्फ हिंदी मूवीज दिखते हैं मोरको में लाइक वी आर क्रेज या बादशाह रुख खान सलमान खान कचिन आइटम सॉन्ग वी नो दम बाई हार्ट वी दोन अदर सन दिल्स बच लाइक सो बचपन से आई ऑलवेज लाइक ड्रीम ऑफ बॉलीवुड बट यू नो आई बीन पार्ट ऑफ अ फैमिली वो works in the military both my dad and mom are in military oh so and they've been one is in finance one is a doctor so they'll be like either engineer either doctor mm-hmm. or either you do something with a degree we need a degree right. or fir um, wo uh, meri like uh, degree uh, fund kiya so they put their money uske paise in hindi mein bolo bahut maza aayega meri degree fund kiya so i couldn't you know just like pursue my dream and then just let their money go to waste so i pursue finance and also because i'm someone who loves money mujhe paise bahut pyar karte that is like chalo mujhe paise bahut pyar karte like let's study money let's see how we can and then we can better you you'll handle it better when it gets yeah So I did that, and when I went to complete my MBA at Antik Azhabad, this is when I realized that actually I've not just been dreaming of that. I really felt that connection with India. I landed in India, and I felt there is so much of energy, so much of warmth from India. Oh, so wait, you came here to do your uh, the last yeah. bit of MBA. Yeah. So you didn't come here to. Imagine no. to become. Ah, oh, see, very few people will know that. So I've connected with India, and then I did just one shoot, mm. and then my uh, school, like my MBA school, I took as it, but it was like, no, you are on a student visa, you cannot do any shoot, you cannot experience anything. I was like, don't worry, cool, me vapas aungi. Ah, that wins back. As I said, so na chhiye na. Yeah. Me kuch karke dikhaungi. ये जो तुम्हारी इतनी अमेजिंग कम्युनिकेशन स्किल्स है इंडिया में वॉज दैट एवर अ प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज आई लाइक आई सेड आई रिमेम्बर यू बींग वेरी कम्युनिकेटिव यू नो इट्स नॉट जस्ट अबाउट द लैंग्वेज बट वॉट यू वॉन्ट टू कन्वे बट इन टर्म्स ऑफ हिंदी सिनेमा और सम पीपल दैट यू माइट है कम्युनिकेशन और लैंग्वेज अ प्रॉब्लम फॉर यू टू गेट सो आई टेल यू इट्स इट्स फनी बिकॉज वर एवर अपॉर्चुनिटी आई गॉट फर्स्ट रोड इज एंड देन स्प्लेस विला एंड देन खतरो Most of it, when I would go to the audition, when I would have that interview with the production, I would express myself. Tuta futa Hindi, koi baat nahi. Me bologi. Jo bhi me sochte ho, no embarrassment. Yeah, ah, and they would understand that she want to say this, but she said that this. But they would be like, oh, we love the fact that she doesn't care about how it sounded, yeah. and she doesn't make it like she doesn't make it look as a weakness. She take it as a plus point, as a strength. So yes, me it is. making that Hindi my strength, I think, is what made me reach where I am today. I'm going to come back to that. This is a question specifically for you. Uh, I have fallen prey to this when I go onto Instagram or when I try and talk to a nutritionist on Instagram. There are so many of these fad diets and trends. There is paleo. There is keto. There is veganism there is that there is this what is your what is your personal take on all these fads and how does it apply to each individual see every human body is different you know and of course like you said you know every second page is talking about nutrition and there's so much there that you actually can get confused so there are different kinds of diet and different diets have you know shown different benefits of Results. course right no so ketogenic diet we technically do it for people who have epilepsy you know children who fight oh. epilepsy and all but it has shown uh, you know results with weight loss so you have to do guided plan but you can't be on anything which is a prolonged plan if you see okay people go on uh, prolonged fasting but if you see in india you know religious fasting is for particular days like ramzan is for a month or jainism fast is for 8 days you know oh. or the catholic lent is for a month so you have to kind of fasting is also good but you have to plan how you want to do you can't just stick to a miracle cure there's no miracle cure you know most of the miracle cures oh, are nice. passed by uh, you know either your friends or your relatives or some fad diet or campaigns you know like the basic myth right now currently i think the current favorite is the ozempic drug you know that What is, is that? the it's like and so right now people are taking this ozempic ozempic drug is basically a uh, diabetic drug okay and uh, people consume this because it's kind of giving you weight loss 
and people are buying it over buying it you know and of course not <laughs> of course not i already and want to know this fact no. so this is like a fad that's going on right now you know you have other fads slimming tea is like you know you open instagram and you'll have slimming tea kuch nahi hota uh, ad so slimming tea basically is like a laxative and a diuretic yeah. okay so it kind of Obviously. you know reduces your what but even way i would say uh, i of course you know much more than me but even if you take these things in a limited uh, quantity i done it myself and it's helped me detox if 100%. i use it as a detox it's helped you me a lot like like common myths like apple cider vinegar can make you burn fat or lemon water can make you lose weight fast or for example you know desi ghee is unhealthy it can cause heart attacks everything you know in moderation is good there is no fixed thing or fixed magic cure you know like i mean like the way she said you know she has to train she has to sleep on time she has to exercise she has to eat well I'll is there a diet which applies to everybody like if i was to ask you think about it see the diet that is good for everybody you know common like you know we say that don't skip your breakfast unless you are on intermittent diet under the guidance of a dietitian or a health practitioner you know so breakfast itself means break the fast Correct. of the 12 hours gap you see mm-hmm. eating a good healthy lunch so breakfast normally includes you know protein carbs fiber i think you know what you say like your south indian breakfast which is sambar and idli together or you know if your paratha is right. like a dal paratha the reason there's a reason why our grandmothers did that they were not phd in nutrition but if you see you know like you know that we have proteins have amino acid you know and probably our body makes 11 of it 9 is something that you need that's why okay. egg is known as complete protein you know now what happens is your grains lack an amino acid lysine your pulses lack an amino acid methionine but when you combine both together it becomes a complete protein so the other myths that people have is non vegetarian food khaoge to hi strength milega then what happens to mr virat kohli he is a vegetarian and you can see his fitness endurance everything on the field i mean i've endurance. obviously fallen prey to this kind of thought because my trainers constantly say that unless you have chicken or red meat सर आपका पावर कम हो जाएगा एंड आई वांट टू से दिस दैट मैंने अपनी जिंदगी में ये नोटिस किया है कि जब मैं नॉनवेज छोड़ देता हूं तो मेरा उतना लिफ्टिंग पावर नहीं होता है जिम में सो डू यू थिंक दिस इज इन माय माइंड इट्स मेनली अ मिथ यू सी नो आई एम नॉट अबाउट मिथ इज इट इन माय माइंड यू गुड यू नो एंड बिकॉज़ यू हैव बीन बोर्न ईटिंग नॉनवेज राइट आई मीन यू आर बोर्न लाइक आई एम अ जेन इफ यू टेल मी टू कन्वर्ट टू नॉनवेज प्रोबेब्ली आई हैव अ साइकोलॉजी की आई कैन आई कैन रेड्स मी आई यू सी सो यू बीन यू बीन बोर्न एंड रेज्ड eating that, that food you right so you have to so if eat i was to give it up your... today uh, you think i'll be fine in terms of protein requirement and power and gym and endurance and all that you have to again balance it with your vegan protein or your yeah yeah of protein, course given the fact that i'll supplement it with some other supplements protein. you know and like you have certain protein uh, supplements that you can take but again you know if you if you ha- if you don't have like what you call a religious beliefs to stop non veg yeah, or sure. then you yeah. can continue eating if you like it but if you no, want that's also a personal inten- call. it's a personal call it's a, you have to intentionally do it if you want to right you can't just say okay because somebody has said no, protein is the influencers say that right okay you must live on a vegetarian diet or a vegan diet and switch to you know uh, only soy milk or only oat milk and switch to our oh, that's milk. all yeah that's in fact i'm going to come to you about that lots of uh, myths like i said need to be debunked because the younger generation yeah. is so overpowered by instagram yeah so on you know so the question uh, to you would be that since you are mostly i think uh, this generation yeah. uh, you're also an instagram generation um, how important is mental health when it comes to dealing with so many things out there deciding what's right for you deciding ke mujhe ye karna hai lekin iske bare mein itni sari cheeze hain itni sari information hai aap kaise handle karte hain mental stress aur aapko zyada hota hoga aap thodi si outsider bhi hain so uh, it's funny when i was in finance i had this anxiety because i have like some goals to achieve at the end of the year and my you know salary was related to those bonuses so there was that little bit of pressure that made me a little bit anxious but when i joined this industry i like discovered another level of anxiety <laughs> you're telling me <laughs> another level of like pressure. mental health issues that i had to deal with especially that have been part of like reality shows not khatro ke khiladi but i would mostly mention rollies and spliz villa because there is a lot of mind games and there is also a lot of competition and you know and dirty competition dirty competition was also a healthy competition because this industry every day you wake up to a new talent someone who's much more beautiful someone who's much more talented someone who's much more have you know can do action and can do romance and can do drama and can do stunts 
एंड ही इज गुड एंड ही इज फिट यू नो सो दैट गिवज यू अ लॉर ऑफ प्रेशर की मुझे बी करना है बस कैसे सो आई थिंक दैट्स वन थिंग दैट्स हेल्प्स मी लाइक अ लॉट इज फिटनेस Okay. and also like nutrition good nutrition when i was in finals so you do I, your physical uh, fitness and nutrition helps you mentally as well a lot physical and fitness have been a really complicated journey for me because in the beginning when i was in finals i knew only the gym i knew weightlifting the treadmill running outdoor running that was limited to this when i came to the industry i discovered oh my god i have like flexibility problem when i used to dance i know. was like i need to work on that then i would, i got injured then it was like damn i have mobility problem i have to work on oh this mobility this sounds like my story balance i need to work on my balance then i discovered that i've been like taught wrong things i've been taught that fitness and looking good comes with the gym with weightlifting and having a nice body that means you are like fit which is not true at all unfair. you can look not fit but actually inside you are like so fit so this is when i switch from gym to kickboxing i oh. think like for me like that's something that suits me and when did you start kickboxing uh before khatro okay it's something that suits me because it's something that i enjoy i don't feel like i have to look for motivation to i know you love kicking ass yeah. uh, so <laughs> <laughs> also in real life it's something that helps me with mobility flexibility and it's something that gives me strength and endurance so i feel like i've reached a level where i could make a balance of finding a fitness journey of something that i like that helps me mentally and also physically so i would like to add to what she said i decided to do, do kickboxing so you, like she says you know when you decide to do the things you want to do for yourself you don't feel it's a punishment and i would also like to add one more thing here you know people say healthy but healthy kya hai healthy is not thin hona yeah, yeah healthy is not healthy is protein, protein so khana yeah. ki healthy i think healthy if you split the word healthy means it's to heal thyself on a day to day basis oh. and not only physically but emotionally mentally financially because financial health is important you know environmentally socially spiritually so i think well being you know it's like you have to be healthy on you know and you have to heal it's a work on yourself for yourself by yourself on a day to day process you cannot say okay i'm 60 on the scale today and i'm done i'm healthy no it's not like that because it's an ongoing you process you have so many things there are eight pillars to well be it's physical emotional mental financial which we neglect sometimes and there's also spiritual social uh, educational and environmental you know like she jumped from places to places for education and then she decided to choose another environment for her growth the new generation they want everything in a jiffy yeah. they want a good body in 3 months they want to lose yeah. weight in 4 months i've got to get ready for this and in that process they are actually harming themselves physically and mentally yeah. there's something about you at dintro and i discovered through this show which is uh, your poetry does your poetry help you calm your mind or is it the unrest in your mind that leads you to poetry so i i like deal to it like a lot of anger issues okay to some trauma that i like um, experienced when i was young and when i was a child i went like for therapy and we had this discussion where like the therapist used to talk to me and i wouldn't like re- like i wouldn't like reciprocate to that you don't open up to it yeah So what he told me is like okay we'll try something else let's write you write and I will read your diary so i didn't used to write like words or like stories i used to write poetry and from there it became a habit that whenever i feel like mentally unwell or when i feel like i want to rejuvenate i just take my diary and i write poetry about something or an experience and i put it in words which comes out as a nice you know nice right. uh story that i can so let me get this right you you put your thoughts into a yeah. little poetic fashion and write yes. your diary for your therapist yeah it's a wow. way to make that sad story a happy, happy poetry world. oh yeah nice. that's very interesting yeah because i deal i i can't like meditate i can't sit and then just like meditate? not yeah it's very you should try that it's very very good I'm in fact one of the pillars that we speak about all the time is and this is my personal belief i've gone for vipassana four times and i've done the 11 day aryam on course i believe very strongly yes. in the power of meditation especially when you're younger a lot of people have this myth in their mind ke are jab budhe ho jayenge to sochenge is the reverse when you're young you're restless you're anxious that's the time you need to meditate yeah. 
There is uh, one experience that like will stay with me forever. When I did the show Splits Villa, right. I've been told that no, you are a foreigner, you can never won the show. So on the first day, the production used to take our papers, phone, everything. Then I just took one paper and I wrote, Sundus, you need to win this. We are winning this. Today we are end of December, we won this and you're happy and you're crying. And I just give that paper to the head of the production and I won the show. You manifested and she came it. to me and she's like, you wrote this, Sundus. I've read wow, it. Wow, that's fantastic. And manifestation and, and like, the power of manifestation. Yes, I visualized it, you know, I was like... The attitude is the main gratitude. thing. I mean, we have a walk next so to when, my... When, when COVID happened, I was gratitude. working as a gratitude practitioner. As a? Sorry. Gratitude practitioner. So when COVID happened, you know, many people, you know, especially in your industry, you work, you know, and then suddenly the industry stopped, like, shooting stop, everything stops. So, so many of my friends, you know, would be like, Kajal, what can we do? You know, and I said, there is no magic pill to fight COVID. You can't take haldi water and all. You also have to inculcate different ways and mediums, means to feel better. Like how you said meditation, but tabhi koi meditation nahi karta tha. people were so scared. Which no, you're wrong. You're absolutely so, wrong. During the COVID phase, I spoke to so many friends of mine. A lot of people went into meditation at exactly that time yeah. because they didn't know what else to do. And yeah. a lot of people like me would discuss it with my friends. So many have actually gone to Vipassana yeah, after that. So yeah, yeah. Probably Vipassana yeah. is something that I That's really true. want to experience it because, you know. It's brilliant. Uh, you, yeah. I have. Uh, you know, I have a problem with gratitude. Whenever I feel like I'm I'm grateful for this, 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 then my motivation to go after much more becomes less. So I'm the like practices greedy. of gratitude, you know, I'm very greedy. You must be greedy. <laughs> yeah. Anybody, you know, Shah Rukh Khan has very famously said that, boss, I want more, I want yeah. it all, I want to rule the world. Yeah. There is nothing wrong with being greedy for what you want. Yeah. I'm not happy where I am, I want to uh, achieve more. Yeah. But I'm very grateful for where I am. Yeah. My heart is full of gratitude for every single thing I have. But yeah. that doesn't stop me from being greedy, ever. Yeah. As long as you say, yeah. thank you for this, now let's go to the next step, yeah. that's being grateful. Yeah. Uh, now, since this is a show about, we have spoken a lot about mental health. Strangely, usually it takes me time to get there. And thanks to both of you, we've spoken about that. Coming to say, since you're a nutritionist and since I trust you, every time I want to start a new supplement, I ask you, should I do this? Should I? You have also told me which ones to have. What is your idea on supplementation? Because a lot of people who I know in the gym, they skip meals and they just have See, this powder and that powder yeah. and this so thing. those are meal replacements okay right. meal replacements are different like where you skip a whole meal you skip a whole wholesome lunch or you skip a whole wholesome dinner and you just have that as a replacement supplements are basically you know your what are your thoughts on supplements supplements you know are very needed because sadly today the soils are depleted of so many nutrients you know because of the environment and also these supplements kind of you know give you that extra push so you're not against all this this I'm is a supplement i'm definitely not against the supplements you know supplements are again a good source to give you uh, you know something that you are lacking especially right. your right. iron you know your calcium your zinc and so many other multivitamins that are there. Because we don't get everything from our daily food. I you don't, right? This. Like, see, like today, you know, if you have to, if you have an important meeting, you may skip something and, you know, you don't want to skip on a day-to-day -day basis your macronutrients, your micro. I have no, I don't skip. I yeah. carry this with me. So, yeah, even I do. Even I do carry a protein bar because, you know, that's the easiest, so easiest thing. So, I think we need to highlight that supplements should be taken only when you lack yeah. them. Only when you lack of them. Of course. Yeah. You know, I'm glad and, you said that because yeah. my next question to and, you was also because since you're a fitness enthusiast, yeah. I am inundated with information that my trainer gives me. Yes, me too. Ye bhi lo, ye bhi lo, ye bhi lo, ye bhi lo. I said the, or kya zada tar, because I am the kind of person, if I ask her something, she says, do this, I'll do it. Hmm. Now what I've started doing is now I research myself before putting anything into my mouth. Yeah. I said, ki ye mere liye zaruri hai, then I'll ask my doctor, is this necessary? Then he'll ask me a question, why do you need it? Yeah. So, so this is about nutrition, but nutrition would be incomplete with, with the other side, which yeah. is? Working out regimen. Hmm. Obviously, looking at you here and looking at you and Khatroge Kiladi, what I realize is that you look very fragile, yeah. but are extremely strong, especially yeah. when you're holding on to those ropes. Yeah. What is your regimen like? Because that's something that people so, want um, to. There is like that expression that we like we say usually: "Don't judge like a book by its cover." cover. That applies to the personality, but also we can apply it to fitness. I might look like thin, but I have almost like less than 20% fat in my body. Most of it is like muscle. muscle. So even when I skip knees, even when I like train or like 
go on a hardcore day I don't lose weight that easily because it's more my muscles that are there, not like the fats. Also, I come from a very like different culture, the Moroccan one, French one, and then the Indian one. So I've grown up uh, listening to so many myths. Like in France, we have this myth of green juice. You have to detox yourself. And it yeah, used to be yeah, that, green juice, yeah, green yeah. juice. And you have to be like, you have to take a vegan uh, meal at lunch so that you don't feel like bloated and then you work for the rest of the day. I used to do that for like almost one year. Then I realized that why actually my body is already doing that. So I should not take those extreme detox that yeah, actually you need comes to and that. unbalance my, my, uh, my body or like my uh, nutrition intakes. So I think my journey have been more of Knowledge and knowledge, knowledge and Experience knowledge. and exploration. Yeah. That's how you get to the end. And I also want to put this, you know, it's like a triangle, okay, of 33, 33, 33% because 100% health, health possible. Nahi hai. Mm. Kuch na kuch hota hi hai, you know, ki, mm. 33% is like she said, exercise, 33% is your diet, and 33% is your rest. Yeah, see. Your, your sleep, okay? Now, when you sleep, why, you know, they emphasize, ki, you know, sleep before 11 o'clock or sleep mm. early? You know, because between, this is biological, between three and six, you know, your body secretes certain kind of hormones, which are needed for your next day. You know, like your growth hormone does all the repair work. You know, you have hunger hormone, ghrelin, you have leptin, you have insulin. Everything like these, is secreted between these, three to six. These, are, these hormones kind of, you know, have a little, no, no, they secrete through the day also, but these have an Im important meeting in the night. They, how are we having a meeting, a discussion right now? Nobody knows it's true. Yeah. See, you know, like the, this biological, right? The rhythm, uh, that how it works, right? Yeah. That's the reason, uh, you know, you say that sleep on time, you know, like, Early to bed, early to rise, makes a man healthy, wealthy and But uh, tell me, everybody says that, you know, if you sleep at the same time and wake up exactly at the same time every day, it's helpful to your body. Is it's it helpful true? and I think your body gets used to it. You wake up fresh, you feel better, you know. But having said that, like if you if you have like these odd working hours, like, you know, sometimes you have to shoot in the night, sometimes you have to shoot in the day. You still need to make sure that you at least complete good quality sleep, mm -hmm. you know, six to seven hours of good sleep, you know, and that's very needed. Like rest. Too much of uh, very serious stuff is being spoken what let's talk about some fun yeah yeah to puchu gaye well start with you what is your indulgence yaar what is your cheat meal like okay you're so we are actors we're almost constantly working on our body and mind throughout the day month year for years together so it's a wow. constant process right yeah what is your indulgent meal like okay, today uh, i'm going to cheat okay so i'm not a sweet person okay i hate mm -hmm. sweets but i love pasta and mozzarella like Italian food is something I die for. That's creamy, cheesy, oh, white nice. sauce pasta <laughs> and like uh, pesco and then also the pink and then the mozzarella with olive oil with those cheesy tomatoes. That's something I love. So whatever cheese cream, I'm in. You're in? Yeah. Your cheat meal? I would want to eat something like, I like she said, you know, something very savory and nice like, you know. Cheese. You have no name and like no dish? Like, I mean, I would... What is your favorite dish? See, now my journey is completely from Khandvi to Kebab, okay? I've married a Parsi, so I would definitely want to indulge in some nice Parsi cuisine, like a dhansha yeah. rice or something. Mm. You know, like... I go to a meal for many, many years, and it still continues, is butter chicken, chicken garlic naan, you, yeah. and kali dal. <laughs> And yeah. which is the worst thing I could do to my body because, the, and I, especially, and I do it in the night. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And if I don't get that, then my next favorite is even worse than this choice, which is samosa and jalebi. Really? Which I, yeah. accord, I don't know, I'll ask her, but I've been told that samosa and jalebi are the worst things to do to your body. You know, so talawa or dusra sugar mein talawa. Yeah. Uh, so. so, but anyway, if you want to live, you also have to sometimes. Yeah, you know, you know what, we have that. Jalebi in Morocco. How different are, going off topic from this thing, how different are Moroccans uh, than Indians? Any similarities in, at all? Uh, the culture of the food. Culture of food, rents and... It's dude. very similar, let me very tell similar? you. The food is the same, gravy with chicken, like butter chicken, we almost have the same. Uh, sabzi with like chicken or meat, we do have that. Jalebi is also something... Halwa is also something that Halwa is, is also there. Yeah. Wow. But there? people don't know because we are in different countries, different continents. But I have seen that a lot of things overlap. Like uh, I was in Greece and I saw a lot of similarities between the yeah. way they are and the way we are. Also the Especially language. Weddings. Yes. Arabic and Urdu. They're very, yeah, yes. very close. Ah, Kajal, one question I've been asking. I've been wanting to know 
and especially the dialogue which started after Deepika's statement about mental health. You know, everybody now knows that there is a lot of it floating around which people are not being able to deal with, right? Especially post-COVID. Do you feel that the right kind of food, we say that the right kind of and the right kind of regimen actually goes a long way in reducing stress in people? 100%. 100% like I died, like at the beginning of the show I said food is magic right and food when you eat good food when you eat healthy food your body starts producing those kind of hormones right like that's so needed like you know that your happy hormone is serotonin you know that you know you need good protein food to make your happy hormones you know you need good sunlight to make your happy hormones and like I said it's an ongoing process it's the day to day you cannot say okay I've had my protein today I've had my uh, you know, protein, uh, 60 grams, 80 grams of protein today, I don't want to eat it today. But you know? good food from eating, it's stress from yes. eating, it's good work out, it's stress like, yeah, it's hai. good workout, good rest, sleeping, gratitude journal, you know, uh, meeting friends, socializing. Uh, while we are on that topic, I also want to know that there are also, there's so much of, uh, I won't call them myths, I'll say there's so much of information about the right kind of food. Any uh, myths you want to debunk about what's extremely popular in today's day and date? The kids are following all these food diets. Uh, people are skipping meals. People are saying the skipping meals is the best thing to do, you know, skip lunch or skip dinner so that you can look a particular uh, skinny shape, you know, like, uh, like you know, my nephew who's 17, he'll be like, dinner chori de was, you know, I'll not have dinner. And I'm like, you can't skip a meal because you are still studying and you need that energy, right? right. So skipping meal is one of the thing. Uh, people have made ghee a very uh, bad thing, you know. I hey, gym. एक ने बोला कि मेरे घर का सारा खाना घी में बनता है कि हमारे घर में तेल का यूज ही नहीं होता है तो दूसरे लड़के ने बोला कि तू तेरा पूरा फैमिली कार्डियक अरेस्ट से मर जाएगा yeah, दोनों see, का दोनों see, का स्टेटमेंट बताइए इट हैज टू बी बैलेंस यू नो वी ऑलवेज से इट हैज टू बी 2 टू 1 रेशियो लाइक 2 टीस्पूनस ऑफ ऑयल पर डे 1 टीस्पून ऑफ घी पर डे सो यू कैन नो सपोज इफ समबडी सेड दैट देयर इज नो फूड व्हिच इज कुक्ड इन माय हाउस इन ऑयल इट्स ऑल कुक्ड इन घी सी वन इज अ सैचुरेटेड फैट बोथ आर फैट्स बट बोथ आर नीडेड बिकॉज़ बोथ आर नीडेड फॉर योर ब्रेन एक्टिविटी यू नो यू नीड टू सिग्नल लाइक by the time you are doing this and this to me trillions ऑफ सेल इन द बॉडी हैव चेंज एंड दैट्स बिकॉज़ ऑफ द फैट इन योर ब्रेन लाइक व्हिच इज योर गो टू ऑयल Basically, I use like you know groundnut oil, sometimes coconut, sometimes sesame. It depends so you keep on. Changing that I keep changing well. oils, you know. But if I have to deep fry something, I use a canola oil because it has a high smoke point. You know, you can't deep fry food in olive oil. You know, you can't. Yeah. You can't. So you but know, every other. every oil has a smoke point. Like you know, when you burn it, so you have to use proper kind of oil to use your deep fried food. So, Sundus, mm-hmm. since uh, we are going to be now ending uh, uh, the show. I have fallen prey more than once to exercise trends. Mm. Every time you see on Instagram, for the same uh, body part, say abs, there will be mm. 25 different people doing it differently. Yeah. Have you ever uh, fallen prey to an exercise routine which you realize is not sustainable in the long run? Or a diet that you followed and that you realize is not sustainable? Yeah, so I tried to turn into vegan. I could not. Not because... Vegan is not a right diet, but because my body for so many years has been yeah, used to those intake of proteins from meat, from like non-veg. Vegan, vegan diet lacks B12, okay? So most most of the B12 comes from the non-veg food, right, okay? Right, right. Then what happens is when sudden there's a transition from a non-veg yeah. diet to vegan diet without any supplementation, you are going to feel a little... And if I was to supplement in that, it would be fine then for it me? could be fine, you know, like calcium, you know, because yeah. vegan diet also lacks milk and milk products, like no animal products. So there's a right. lot of sudden change in the calcium mm-hmm. intake, sudden change in the B12 intake, you know. So when you supplement it rightly, I mean, there's a slow transition, you know, you don't uh, get that jolt for the body. Having yeah. said that, vegan also has its benefits, you know, but like I said, you know, it depends on how you are supplementing it. To make up for the nutrients that you're not, not getting. getting. So I think uh, being non-veg, I can't do it for more than one day. One day? <laughs> I go on sets where the food on sets is veg. Uh-huh. And I, no, no, you, I really you don't know, know how much anxiety I have. I go to the shoot oh, like magic. it's very crampy like face and they're like, what I'm like, you don't have to eat non-veg here. So I order more. It just like plays with my mental health, with my physical, with my psychological. So she already spoke so about... So interrupting uh, this, you know, like she said, you know, like khana nahi hai. I always tell people like you should have like an emergency food packet, like, you know, mm-hmm. carrying Nutri-Bars 
or carrying a little bit of you know maknas or something you know some protein mm-hmm. snack like you know why if you remember you know when you used to come back from school i don't know back then but you know our parents used to give us chana peanuts and a little yes, some yes, jaggery because that's known to know known you know like the good chana uh, and a glass of milk once you come back from school because it's known in the evening as a good protein yeah. snack you know i wonder how our grandparents knew all of this they didn't they no just alarm knew what was they used to us. sleep on time wake up on time eat like good food healthy now it's only come on instagram otherwise that time it yeah. was in their brains before we go one last question uh kajal already said sleep uh, is the best form of recovery mm. what according to you because uh, you're obviously into fitness mm. dance and high octane sports like yeah. hanging from helicopters <laughs> huh so yeah. what according to you is your best form of recovery i think a uh, hot shower i think hot shower helps my muscle to just like relax and uh, i feel like fresh and i think sleep I I cannot sleep less than eight hours. Go, I lucky, cannot. Lucky, touch wood. Yeah, even like when I am, that's like uh, maybe a habit. But even when I am mentally not feeling good, I go to sleep. And after like my sleep, and I feel like so rejuvenated wow. and I feel so fresh. You know, so people have the biggest me. problem sleeping, and you actually sleep so easy, which is amazing. Yeah. I'll give you one tip before we go. What is you it? already have the hot shower. Yeah. Try the cold shower. Yeah. Try I the know, cold shower awesome. and everybody thinks it's very tough. Let me tell you my hack. Yes. I start me. the geyser, I go in. The m- moment the water starts flowing, it becomes warm. I put the geyser off. When from warm it goes to cold, especially in this yeah. weather, your body, I don't know what is secreted and what comes out in your friends and yeah. dear, I don't know the yeah. that she probably knows better, but I don't think I feel as good. as i do after every cold shower and my muscles yeah. are completely rocking and ready to go oh. you must try that's in khatro uh khatro to i never started the geyser in the morning oh okay but, you but still i got <laughs> <laughs> still i got injured so let's not talk about that well uh, currently that's it in terms of discussion but as you all know we have a small quick segment called your keep going mantra we all have various challenges in life i'm sure you have your set of challenges you do so do i what your go keep going mantra gratitude gratitude well done yours wow that's fabulous uh, i think balance in everything balancing everything balancing everything keeps you yeah, going yeah balance in food balance in sleep balance in social life balance in work in mental health in relationships a uh, relationship with god everything should be balanced and i've never said this but my keep going mantra is abhi to maine start kiya hai on that oh. note Thank you very much for being here. Thank It's been a pleasure, Kajal. Thank, Thank you, Sodos. And we will see you in yet another episode of Unstoppable, powered by Right Bite Max Protein. I am Rohit Roy. We'll see you. Till then, stay healthy, stay fit. See you soon.